Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another Logic Pro quick tip for you today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set your auto punch range using the marquee tool or by selecting a region. This is gonna come in really handy if you do a lot of recording in Logic, especially if you use auto punch quite a bit to punch in different sections of recordings. So to start, let me just close out auto punch. And if you don't know how to get auto punch up here, you just right click and select customize control bar and display. And then you can add auto punch to the control bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But there is a shortcut to toggle auto punch. It's control option command P. So that's how you can quickly toggle auto punch. So let's listen to this recording. There's a mistake in here right around bar three. Now, normally what you would do is you would turn on auto punch and then you would just manually set the punch range in this area. But as you can see, setting the punch range can be kind of finicky. It's a very small uh, ruler up here and it's, you know, it's kind of hard to grab onto. So, you know, normally you would maybe do something like this. You set your punch range, you set the playhead over here and you hit R to record. And what auto punch does is it only records the range within the punch locators or within the punch range. So you can see there, it only recorded that one spot within the punch locators. Now, another method to doing this would be to just simply select the area with the marquee range and then hit R to record. The only problem here is if you punch like this, it's not gonna give you any sort of pre-roll before the punch range. If I just hit R, you can see the recording just jumps to the punch range that I just selected with the marquee tool. So fortunately, there is a really helpful unassigned key command for this. If you go up to Logic Pro, key commands, edit assignments, and search up marquee punch, and you'll find a global key command called set punch locators by regions slash events slash marquee. So I'm gonna learn by key label and I'm gonna give this a new shortcut that's very similar to the auto punch toggle shortcut. And this is shift option command P. So now if I make a selection here with the marquee tool and hit shift option command P, this automatically sets the punch range to the marquee range. This will also work if you select a region so you can see there it sets the punch range to the entire region or if there's just a certain you know smaller region within the larger selection if you just select that region use the shortcut it will set the marquee range to the selection or to the region okay so in a practical setting if you're thinking okay i need to punch in bar three you just hit Control option command p to pull up auto punch then you use your marquee tool which if you're like me, you're likely using it all the time anyway. And then you use your shift option P shortcut to set the punch range, set the playhead over here, and then just hit R to record. And you can see there it's added my punched range into a take folder. I can edit this into the existing comp, close the take folder, and if I want, I can also flatten and merge this take. And now I have a take with no mistakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.